Let's talk today about your independence. It says in Romans 8, verse 19, The creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. I can remember when I was a child, car revealing that would come in the fall was a lot more than it is today. I can remember that I would get excited to visit the dealerships that would have the cars covered with sheets. And then all of a sudden at a certain time, they'd have a, maybe a local band playing or something. And they'd lift up the sheets and there would be the new model. Well, the same can be of you. You can have a revealing of a brand new person, a brand new person of courage, a person that can do things that yesterday's model couldn't. All of us would like to feel that we can work with other people, that we can communicate and cooperate with our family and our co-workers, our friends and our neighbors. No one wants to feel under the control of others. There is nothing sadder than a person that we are praying with that just feels they don't have independence in their life. No one wants to feel subservient. Looking at the word independence, we can see it in a new way. In us, independence is a wonderful quality of spirit that frees us from any sense of dependence. Relying upon the Christ within us gives us a sense of sufficiency. We become a brand new model, a brand new person. When we depend on Christ, we become self-reliant, self-confident, self-respecting, independent. When everyone everywhere learns to look to and lean on the Christ, the source of light, love, power, there will be true independence. There will be an independence of spirit, an independence of mind, an independence of body. There will also be no diminishing of love. Rather, it will be a greater interdependence. There will be a greater opportunity to give of self and to realize the worth of ourselves and the worth of all others. I pray today for your independence.